Uh, I think it has been a couple minutes since I played. All right, let's get to it. First, ma first match of wave two of D2. Let's see. I expect Craig Poners to play really patient. He's definitely a, a slow the tempo type of uh, player. Yeah, absolutely. And against Kirby, um, yeah, I, I definitely look for him to just kind of slow the game down and wait for Dr. Alice to make mistakes. For sure. Ooh. Oh, he had a nice combo going and then uh, didn't jump and SD. It happens in every, every game, every once in a while, every match. A couple up tilts from Dr. Alice. Dr. Alice not quite off stage. Craig Poner is kind of trying to extend that a little bit too late. Ooh, good F tilt there from Dr. Alice. Extended up B doesn't allow him to escape too well. That one does. And Dr. Maybe, Alice backs off. Yeah, maybe a, maybe a missed input with that up air. Ooh, good okay. back air there. All right, reading Craig Poner is going to the uh, opposite side flat. Third After time I won't he's kill done yet. That. All right. Barely misses that down air and gets back here for it. Not going to kill. Ooh, nice up B out of there. Yeah, good escape there from Craig Poner. So Craig doesn't go to a lot of tournaments. Um, there goes his second stock. Uh, he does do a lot of net play, so you'll see him online quite a bit. But, uh, he's definitely improved a lot over over the last year, really. Oh, all right. I think he was trying to go for something there. I don't think he really expected to be able to get back. So we got Dr. Alice with a full stock lead right now. Oh, good back air there. That was really good spacing on that back air. Roll on up tilt. That is actually really hard to cover. Air and the back air sends him off stage. Ooh, I think he wanted a back air there. Kind of looked like that forward air, he was just trying to tack on any type of percent, and that uh, back throw will kill, so now we have an even game. Clean stock there from Craig Poners. Hasn't even been touched this stock, wow. All right. All right, back throw. Good quick 21%. Another quick hit. Quick hits. Oh, it looks like he maybe went tried to get for up tilt. Yeah. Um, yeah, just missed input on the uh, uh, um, up air. All right, gets the ledge and then rolls on up tilts. Ooh, good jab there. Jab, jab, grab. True combo on, <laughs> on Pika. Oh, he just, just Ooh. narrowly avoided that back air, but then takes an F smash to the face. Yeah, Dr. Al is really great with those F smashes just at random, seemingly random times, but trust me, they're, they're calculated. Oh, good single there. I like that. And up air in this matchup just obliterates Kirby. If the, if the Pika can um, space it well, there's not a whole lot Kirby can do for a well-spaced up air. Yeah. But, uh, oh, good Ooh. nair there. Wow. Bring so it back last to stock. Kind of a long game so far. Uh-oh. Up tilts there. Oh, jumps out. But then goes for a neutral B. Definitely not what he wanted. Ooh, comes in with a falling down air. Ooh, good grab. Ooh, misreads the recovery. Oh, I, don't, I don't think Dr. Ellis wanted those rapid jabs. Good fastball back air, though. Craig, let's see. Oh. Ooh, Ooh, nice back air. Nice meaty back air. A oh, wispy. Oh, no! Wispy. No. Oh, no. Dr. Alice with the tragic SD. You Wispy hate to blew see him that. off. And then he, it looked like he wanted to down air from the ledge, but he did a fastball down air. Mm -hmm. And then plummeted to his death. I think he might have even been going for just a down smash. And then as soon as yeah, it brought yeah, him up back to the ledge, he just. Definitely. Yeah, you got to be careful with that edge. You can get pushed off that edge by Wispy. The right side, you can't, but. And I think even though Craig Poners kind of won that game on a on a gift of that last stock, I think I still think he'll have um, momentum going into this game because he was dropping a lot of stuff in game one. So I look to yeah. see how he can control the the tempo in game two. That could be a momentum shift though. And I can see that going either way. Yeah. Good point. 
a good pack here, though, that we can. Yep, yeah, that's, that's a match for show. So Dr. Alice with the stock lead, just like the first game. Kind of just daring Craig Poners to yeah. drop through the plat there. Craig Poners wi uh, wisely uh, just gets out of there. He doesn't want any part of those up tilts. Let's see if, how he can edge guard here. And Dr. Alice makes it back again. Oh, no. Not a good position for Pika to be in. Back throw for percent. For percent and to put him on uh, a tech visit here. Uh, what's the word I'm looking for? A uh, tech chase situation on the side flat. Oh, that single miss. <clears throat> can you do an extended up B off of a single? Yeah. You can. Definitely. Okay. Um, it, yeah, it just looks like he, he missed it. Didn't get quite enough on that single. So this is the same exact as game one. Um, Craig Poner's down by one clean stock, 0% each. Um, yeah, let's see how, looks like they're slowing the pace down a little bit. Good up there. All right, and unlike last game, tilt. unlike last game, the, uh, the stock isn't just taken without being touched by Craig Poner's. Ooh, tries to sneak in that back air. Doesn't oh, have a jump and gets smash. the forward smash. We'll do it, so Dr. Alice with a two stock lead now. Ooh, they were kind of just stood there for a second. Oh, Wispy oh, saves Wispy him there. again. Wispy uh, definitely playing for Craig Connor's team right now. Yeah. Oh, I don't know if he wanted forward air though, there. Um, and up air might have been able to continue a combo. Yeah. Good damage, but you want him off stage. Oof. Oh, just able to uh, stave off the back air and other edge guard attempts from Craig Honers and gets back to ledge. Oof. That forward smash on the side flat catches a lot of people. Craig, is, Craig Honers has seen it once or twice before. Oh, wow. That just one or two hits of forward air just um, disrupted uh, Craig Honers' edge guard, and he, Dr. Alice was able to make it back. So not looking very good for Craig Poners. Uh, I believe this is going to be Dr. Alice's second stock. Oh, wow. Just pulled the ledge there. Yeah, uh, just pulled the ledge. You know, oh, wow. Um, yeah, I'm surprised he didn't go with the forward smash. That's yeah. like his thing. That's what he does. So a gravel kill in the middle of the stage right now on the top flat. Yeah. Um, so you Frank might see Dr. Alice maybe fish for that a little bit. Yep. And like you said, Craig is definitely slowing the game down right now, playing to his advantage here. Ah, well, that down air is going to do it. I think the, the biggest problem for Craig uh, throughout this whole set so far has just been, um, well, Craig won last game, so it's, it's going to be 1-1. Uh, but the problem that he's been having that I've seen at least this last game has been his edge guarding. I mean, he kind of just throws out a back air hoping that it's going to hit and then tries to get back to ledge or back to stage. But it's just there. That's not what you want to do, especially against a Kirby that can just down air you and take your stock and turn that situation around for himself. Ooh, okay. nice. Nice little combo there. Ooh, oh, wow, that good call out. Early up B, did he not have enough, enough jumps? That wasn't counting. I don't know, maybe he was going for a mix up. Um, don't really like that from, from Dr. Ellis here. Okay, so pretty clean stock taken by Craig. Not yeah, really so this is, the, this is the first time Craig Poners has taken the first stock in this set of the three games. Good DI by Craig Poners Yeah, there. he has great DI. And once again, getting out of those up tilt strings, but uh, kind of just falling back into them. Oof. Nice coverage on the on the roll on, and then he gets him back off stage. Oh, Once wow. Again, he just, just misses with some back here. Yeah. The downer hits, though. Either Craig is not doing a very good job, or Dr. Alice is doing a very good job at recovering. Yeah, also as a Pika player, um, sometimes you just want to go out and threaten with aerials, just yeah. so that Kirby has to use more jumps. Um, so I could... Oh, too early. That could be something that he's, he's doing, but um, yeah, it's definitely not working because Dr. Alice has been recovering almost every time. Right. Is it not also true that sometimes you just don't have to even throw out a hitbox, though? You can kind of just go out yeah. there, make yeah, the awesome. more jumps, and then go back to stage, and then you're, you're in a better position because yeah. you didn't throw that aerial out. I'd, I'd like to see Joey, or sorry, uh, Craig Poners throw that out and mix that into his gameplay a little bit. So uh, Dr. Alice evens it up with that F throw. 
Good DI to give him the side plat, but again, uh, Craig Conner is missing um, dropping edge guards and actually getting basically reverse edge guarded. And Dr. Alice is getting percent on him. Not quite going to kill. Yeah, Dr. Alice definitely knows his uh, Pika kill percents for um, F throw. Yeah, I feel so, like. So, yeah, you won't see him. If he, if he F throws, that won't kill. It's probably just to put himself matching. in a better um, stage position. Wow, he goes too low on that recovery. Everybody makes mistakes. Kind of a shame that it happens right now, though. Di down so that he could. Uh, yeah, really, get, really good. Really good uh, situational there. di there from Craig Poner. Oh, I was referring to uh, Dr. Ellis there. Oh wow, they just kind of yeah, sure shielded what, and then kind of waited for the, someone for. else to make them the other move. Yeah, I think Craig might have been expecting a grab, or no, a, a dash attack or something, and that's why he shielded. And then so, I think maybe Dr. Alice was trying to go for a grab and then shielded instead. I don't know. But uh, anyway, cleans up that second stock. Oh, good back here. There. He again, calls out. Uh, so Dr. Alice, um, a lot of Kirby's do it um, is roll from ledge. And it is hard to punish, but if it looks like uh, Craig Connors has gotten the timing down, and he's, he's punished it a couple times. So I want to uh, see if that's something that he picks up on these last two stocks. Although he is over 100% now, so Kirby's um, slow roll isn't um, very good. Yeah. F smash stayed out forever. Yeah. So Craig Connors' stock lead here. He did have the stock lead at the beginning of the, of the uh, game as well. Good TI to get on that top plat. Wow. Yeah. Okay, back throw for damage. Yeah, no, it, uh, that back throw also just lets him have center stage basically for free. Yeah. So definitely smart by Dr. Alice there. Oh, that air's not quite going to kill, but it's going to put Pika in a pretty bad position. Ooh, and that's going to kill. No, it won't. Uh, kills at 99 from the top. 99? Uh, 108 from the side flat and 119 from the bottom. Well, I'm glad you know the percents. I don't play either of these characters. So yeah, you can see just now they're slowing the game down immensely. Let's see if, oh wow, oh, that back finally. air puts him in a really good spot. Finally connects one of those back airs during the edge guard. Oh no! <laughs> uh, Pineapple himself. Yeah, so good set. Craig Connors will take it. Um,